Okay. I got this and I thought it was okay and I was excited about it and I got the bob and winder to work. Right, but then right. it started to just like go on its own. It sounded like it was gonna fly oh, to the moon. Okay, <laughs> without hitting this? Without hitting that. The Fixers Collective is a bunch of people that originated from the PNA, the Finney Ridge Association. It's a volunteer organization. We have anywhere from four to eight people as fixers, and we all just want to fix things. Okay. The Greenwood Hardware hosts us, but this is a program of the PNA. Some people want to keep things out of landfills. I'm more just, I like to take things apart, yeah, and see how they work. Everything has basic features. We have the switch, we have contacts for the batteries. Um, this is a little bent. Part of the problem is things are being built so that they're disposable. I had a, a microwave that stopped working and I'm not afraid to tear into things. Like you said, <laughs> if it's broken, you can't break it can't anymore, break it, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I tore into it, $5 switch it was all that was wrong with it. Awesome. All together. So we can test it before we put the screws back in. See what it does. Oh yeah, now we can work it. So that part that I I bent um, probably was the problem. Um, might have been dropped in such a way that the battery pushed the little plate yeah. in. I dropped it several times on hard ground. <laughs> <laughs> Most people don't admit that. <laughs> Keeping these out of landfill, keeping another one from having to be built, it reduces my carbon footprint quite a bit and just the, the, the clutter of our lives. So, you know, if you can fix things, it's a lot more advantageous than throwing it away and buying a new one. It makes sense all around. You reduce waste, you learn stuff, and you don't spend as much money replacing things. They're always so helpful, and, and you walk in the door and they're right there, what's your problem? And you show them a nut or a screw and they go, we got it for you. Everything's for free. We don't charge for our time. This is the stuff I have, and if it comes out of here, it's free. We've moved here in 1976, and that's when we bought the lamps. So I guess what we want to do is go out and see if they have a yeah, that'll work. For us. When we're here at the store, we have more resources of items off the shelf. Three ways what you need, okay. If they use anything out of the store, they need to pay for it. Ever since I was a kid, I've been fixing stuff. I rebuilt my brother's Volkswagen when I was 15, or the engine on the car. I, I just enjoy fixing things. It's, it's fun to do. I hate broken stuff. I've gone to hotels and fixed sinks and drains and outlets and stuff. At the first oh, this is going to be fun. Yeah. I bought yeah. these in Rwanda. They're just not coming uh, on anymore. And you see, this is threaded right here. Uh-huh. And right up above, this is threaded. Okay. Okay, so it's going to take a, um, a shank, and mm -hmm. that means that this will have to be on, uh, yeah, good. Unscrewed both of those, put the shank on, and then screw them both back together. Okay. Um, so, good chance there will be something up front. And you, that uh, I'll need to, even I'll need to go. better way to go. Okay. And so, we have some people that have a broken lamp that we can't fix, and we will scrap pieces out of it and reuse them in somebody else's project. It's fun. We do this for fun and curiosity. And our mission is to build community. There's got to be a great story behind Rwanda. People come here who are perfect strangers and they leave friends. My dad picked one up a while ago. That's why I found Small this one. one. Yep. It was not repairable, but we kind of okay. were working on it for a mm -hmm. while. So I learned like the basics. Good for of, him. Um, I mean, yeah. props to your dad. Yeah. Well, it reminded him of his mom. And you know, he's never talked about his mom at all, ever, until he saw this sewing machine. When I found this one, we were both kind of really excited. You ready? Ready. That's good. Okay. Okay. Cool. 
You got way more than a sewing machine, and you I know that. Right? Yes. <laughs> okay, here we go. There we go. Oh, oh, right, the other. Oh, <laughs> 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 sure, it actually works. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Hey, success! <laughs> wow, marvelous, marvelous. I can read bed again. <laughs> There's a Victor's Collective in Northeast Seattle. They meet weekly. There's one, I believe, in West Seattle as well. Portland is very active, so there's several around here. It's quite a movement. Use it up, wear it out, make it do or do without. Watch City Stream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel. Or get video on demand and podcasts anytime at seattlechannel.org.